Hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed the third and final day of 3D Experience World 2022. I have to say, I think today was my favorite day. Every day has been great, but today's focus on connection and the future of everything was really inspiring. It is phenomenal to see how the power of human imagination can not only tackle the challenges of today, but can also improve upon past innovations, leading us to infinite future possibilities. So let's rewind and take a look at our day three highlights. During general session, Suchit Jain highlighted how various students, teachers, entrepreneurs, inventors, makers, and professional engineers in the SOLIDWORKS community are creating a better future with technologies that spark curiosity and innovation. It was amazing to learn about the self-replicating fab labs that will bring hope to the community in Haiti. R&D simulation expert Delphine Genouvriev interviewed GE Healthcare about their use of the 3D Experience Work simulation products. The advanced tools helped them work alongside engineers to ensure the performance and reliability of their anesthesia machines and nebulizers. With simulation on the cloud, they easily shared analysis data, communicated their challenges, and imagined what-if scenarios. Mike Bookley and a panel of manufacturing marvels tackled various topics ranging from a skills gap to automation to competing in a global marketplace. Industry experts Megan Ziemba, Scott Vulcan, Scott Harms, and Jeff Holfelt shared their experiences and how they're solving tomorrow's issues today. They highlighted viable career paths for those just starting out or for anyone looking for a change. These general sessions will be available by 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and on all three days will be available on the virtual event platform to watch on demand. Day three of 3D Experience World is Student Day. So hello to all the educators and students who are joining us now. We had special student and educated focus breakout sessions today and our annual Life After School, a panel discussion for students was on Monday. Students got to connect with professional designers and engineers who use SOLIDWORKS and 3D Experience Works in their everyday life. You can learn more about all of our educational offerings at the EDU Zone and the 3D Experience Playground. We have design solutions for users of all ages from 4 to 40 to 94 and up. Well, during his general session speech today, Suchit announced a great new competition for students, the Arm for All Design Contest. Students can make a difference and help design an elbow device to compliant LN4's low-cost and durable prosthetic hand. You can learn more about this exciting contest and how to win prizes at solidworks.com slash arm for all. Now, speaking of competitions, our annual Model Mania competition went into overdrive this year. For 3D Experience World 2022, Model Mania was split into three different challenges. The SOLIDWORKS Challenge, the SOLIDWORKS Cloud Challenge, and the 3D Experience Student Challenge. Let's check in with Gian Cleese to learn more about these challenges. Okay, Model Mania, it is a favorite. Yes, it is. We've been doing this 23 years now. Traditionally, um, a lot of our users have participated in it and we give you a 2D drawing and you have to recreate what's in that 2D drawing using SOLIDWORKS and complete it as fast as you can. And then the top three uh, fastest people who create it accurately actually get a prize, uh, both for users and resellers. And we were, it was amazing to have this happen again this year. Amazing, but also this year it was a little bit different. It was, it was, because we actually had three challenges instead of just the one that we traditionally have. We had the SOLIDWORKS Cloud Challenge, which allowed our users to be a little bit more creative. We wanted you to express your creativity while diving into some of our new cloud roles and use 3D Creator and 3D Sculptor to design your own custom wheel and post it to our community. And then the third challenge was the student challenge, which is very similar to the first one where we give you a drawing and you recreate it. Um, and those all just finished up yesterday. That's fantastic. And we already know who won. We do. We do. We have six winners who brought home their prizes already and happy to share those with you. Amazing. Thank you, Tracy. Great. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Did you miss a session that you were hoping to see over the last few days? Rest assured. All sessions are available to watch on demand within 48 hours of the broadcast time. 
Sessions were offered at several levels and provided knowledge and know-how on many of the products that make up the 3D Experience Works portfolio, including SolidWorks, Simulia, DraftSite, and DummyWorks. Replays will be available to you on the virtual event platform for 30 days after the conference. Now, you might be thinking, it's 3D Experience World. Where are the certifications? Well, don't worry, because they are still here. Starting on Monday, February 14th at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, attendees will have access to free SOLIDWORKS and 3D Experience Works certification exams until the end of the day on Friday, February 18th. Certifications are one of the best ways for our users to demonstrate their competencies to employers and peers alike. Having a SOLIDWORKS or 3D Experience certification can be the leg up that you need to get hired for your dream job. And they are a great way to connect with others in the community. Well, 2021 was another successful year for our community in terms of earning certifications. Our users earned just over 95,000 certifications last year, including a record-breaking 9,000 certifications for the 3D Experience platform roles. In only three years, platform certifications alone grew at a rate of over 600,000 year over year, topping the 15,000 mark. In comparison, it took nearly 10 years to reach the same mark on the SOLIDWORKS desktop side. Very impressive. So congratulations to all our certified users. Instructions on how to access the exams, as well as which exams will be available, will be emailed to all virtual attendees who qualify on Friday, February 11th. So don't miss your chance to get certified. Oh, and I hope you didn't miss the conclusion of Don't Miss This Demo. Our heroes, Mark and Michael, transformed from just watching videos to making them. And it was sure fun to watch all those great viral video spoofs. And not to mention the sneak peek we got of SOLIDWORKS 2023. We saw how the entire 3D Experience Works portfolio can transform the way you work. Which was your favorite spoof? I liked the Hot Za, the Hot Ones parody. That was my favorite. And don't forget to tune in to SOLIDWORKS Live for a post-show recap event on February 25th. With so much going on at this year's conference, it'll be fun to like check back and recap and see what you may have missed. Well, those were just some of the highlights of day three. And like all things that are good, 3D Experience World must come to an end. But before I go, let's take a look at the event by the numbers. Three days of general sessions highlighted customers taking advantage of the 3D Experience Works portfolio, provided information on the future direction, and showcased the community that makes up the ecosystems. We had two great panels, one tackling ongoing issues with the manufacturing industry, and the other highlighted the joys and challenges faced by engineering services providers. Six in-depth interviews on how clients are using the portfolio to deliver amazing experiences to their customers. We had more than 200 breakout sessions to help you up-level your skills. We had 16 different product disciplines covered in the sessions, including 2D and 3D design, engineering, simulation, manufacturing, ERP, and data management. There were more than 35 meetup sessions that connected like-minded individuals, SOLIDWORKS experts and executives, influencers, makers, and students. The discussions had something for everyone. There were 19 SOLIDWORKS certifications to help you demonstrate your expertise. More than 18 sponsors showcasing solutions that expand the ecosystem. Six zones in the 3D Experience Playground, including the DASO Systems Hub, 3D Experience Lab, and the shop floor. There were three Model Mania contests, challenging users and students on the desktop and cloud products. There were nine hours of SOLIDWORKS Live each day, delivering in-depth interviews and behind-the-scene activity. There were seven Swoggin Awards, including two Suchit and Dan Deliver Today. So congratulations to Eric and Theodore. We had more than 20,000 attendees from over 100 countries and one community joining together to imagine a better future. We hope you enjoyed yourselves over the past three days and had a great time learning about the innovations taking place in engineering, design, and manufacturing. The past couple of years have been full of uncertainty, 
But one thing we know for sure is the passion and resiliency of the Southbrooks community, and it is as strong as ever. So thank you for being a part of 3D Experience World. Can't wait to see you again in 2023, and I have my fingers crossed, I will get to see you in person next time. So thank you so much for being with us the past three days, and cheers to the future.